There are of course uh, different methods of this and I have um, shown this uh, test where you turn a bar that is the equal size of the tailstock barrel. I mean mic it to the exact uh, barrel diameter and then run a, in, in, an indicator across. I think that's the safe method but this also of course works. So um, pleased with that. And the tailstock here, the, this two foot, foot is uh, newly scraped and it's fitted with a new barrel. Uh, the original barrel was worn and it's snug fit and um, I think uh, these were okay so I'm um, not sure if yeah I re replaced the, the bearing here also. But the foot was scraped too much here. So, all in all, nice. And then the two final tests to show that the barrel is highest here. And so it, it can rise but not uh, drop when you go out. And it can go a little bit uh, towards the tool pressure but should be of course straight and dead ahead. So now it's at zero there. It stays at zero. Yeah, maybe a tad lower there. That's okay. And the same test here. Zero indicator and moving in. It moves a little. Uh, three hundreds or one thou, two and a half, which is a little bit more than uh, specified really, let's see. So probably could uh, do with a slight tilt inverse, but on the other hand, it is in the right direction, so that gives us a little bit more um, uh, if you if you watch here now, when I apply tool pressure, so to speak, it won't take much, really, to move it in. At least it takes a little bit of pressure, and then I have. Uh, in the barrel and then we have maybe some other slack uh, at least so I don't think it's uh, that bad to have a one thou in the right direction.